there's a um, exotic meats place that's out like near Sun Valley or something where you can get like penis. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. Raw juicy content. The merch on Patreon. Follow an official Twitter account. Ring the bell if you're on the Rickage Squad. <gasps> that meat is not exotic to my brother. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, today I so almost just spewed all over the place. Wow. Uh, love you, bro. Oh. We are reacting to a video, and he'll agree with me, 100%. 100%. Uh, <laughs> he'll like that comment. <laughs> uh, we are watching a video. It's called The Top 5 States in India. Well, one of them is confused. Yeah. Another one is angry. An oh, well, what would you say is the top, like, in the top five states in America? Well, because obviously we know nothing because we've never been, except true. for Calcutta. That would well, probably be your number one currently. For all of our... <laughs> well, it would be... That would be Bengal. Um, <laughs> sure. <and> <laughs> West Bengal, to be specific. Sure. Um, no, in California, well, any of our friends from San Antonio or thereabouts, you know what they're going to say. Texas. Yeah. But that's um, the worst. Yeah. Well, uh, there's a couple of them. Uh, well, I've got my favorite states. They're the states that I've lived in and loved. I was born in New York, so kudos to New York. Number one state is undoubtedly Hawaii. Okay. You ever been? Yeah. Well, you're going to say I haven't. You haven't. Because I've only been to... The big island in, yeah. in, in Honolulu, yeah. But still, it's regardless, Hawaii is the best. It's definitely the most beautiful. It's, it's, it is. Well, I haven't been to Alaska, the, so the I'd have to. The cost I'd, of I'd, living. That doesn't matter. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just the state. Just the beauty. Not the economics of it. Just or the, the distance. Yeah, just the state itself. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I don't know. I haven't been to Alaska yet. But this is for India. So that's neither here nor there. Hey, don't forget Montana. No. North North Dakota. <laughs> That's where it's at. For all of you living in Montana. Nobody Dakota. lives in North Dakota, Rick. There's a guy named Carl. Here we go. Top five states based on what? No idea. What are the in India and what are they known for? India, a nation with a vivid and rich history and heritage. That's a true. mystical land where one sixth part of the world's population lives. That's there is no other country that is as diverse as India, nor as divided on so many bases. By language, it's by true. dialect, by religion, we attribute to India That's many of the achievements of humankind. Our buttons and cotton clothes, the ruler, the game of chess, and the concept of zero. But aren't you curious to know what each Indian state is famous for? Sure. Keep watching to find <laughs> out. Number five. I know lots of stupid babies live here. Gujarat is usually referred to as the land of the lions and legends. It's well known Sounded for like its vibrant alarm. art and culture, along with the ever adorable Gujarati people. The home state of Mahatma Gandhi also has the most vegan people among the 29 Indian states. Oh. Speaking of food, in Gujarat, you'll find one of the largest salt deserts in the world as well as probably the sweetest recipes in the world. Gujarati recipes revolve around sugar to make a complete dish. But it's not all about sugar and spices. Gujaratis are also known for their business skills. In fact, <laughs> the top five richest people in India are from Gujarat. Huh. Number four, Punjab. Punjab. We're going there. Punjab well, is known for one part its of it. unique culture and tradition and famous for its cuisines, festivals, and the golden, golden temple, temple, gurudwaras, and more. In the late 15th century, Guru Nanak Dev laid the foundation of Sikhism in this region. Nowadays, Punjab is the largest state of the Sikh population. Was, let's talk there about is that absolutely no actually doubt that up. Punjab offers India's most mouth-watering dishes like lassi and chole bhature. Mm. Uh, uh, but Punjabis are not only talented in the kitchen, yes, the, the region chef. also gave India countless singers and rappers, comedians, athletes and scientists. Punjabis are also known for their hospitality and for the fact that they celebrate their festivals enthusiastically. Number 3. I think that's Maharashtra. India. That's all the Maharashtra is the financial, commercial and entertainment hub of India. That's home to Mumbai. some of the most developed cities yeah. such as Mumbai and Pune. We're going there. Most We're one part of it. In India. The main attractions Maharashtra is famous for are its spectacular caves, living examples of the ancient culture, beautiful beaches and of course Bollywood. A visit to the city will not leave you without a vivid experience We're of cinema. Meet Salman Khan? Are, if you Perfect. go for an early morning walk at the Juhu Beach, you will run into various celebrities. 
Wow. But don't be too quick to think hey. that the state is filled with glass skyscrapers and Amelia Parliament. Clarks. <laughs> Shanghai, Singapore, for example, is not only known for its colorful houses, but also for the fact that these houses don't have doors. That's right. The people here believe whoever tries to steal anything will face the wrath of God Shani Maharaj. Another unusual place in Maharashtra is Shetpal, where each house in the village has a resting place for live cobras in the rafters. That's of true. Place. Number two. Number Whoa. one. The state is home to some of the most living traditions, arts and culture, glimpses of which can be traced in contemporary dance, music and literature. Although Tamil Nadu is home to rapidly modernizing Chennai, the state also has some of the most pristine and isolated beaches. The in Tamil Nadu, you will find 17% of the Indian factories, a higher percentage than any other state, which makes it the second largest contributor wow. to India's GDP. You number one's if you Carol. live in a cold area, there's a high chance the sweaters you're wearing was made in Tamil Nadu. State, right? 90% of I India's so. knitwear exports yeah. come from this region. The state is also the 10th largest in the world in terms of wind power capacity and has the largest telecom bandwidth and highest tele density in India. It's also the only Indian state with four international airports handling over 13.5 million passengers every year. Before I reveal the leading Indian state, I'd like to mention this video was brought to you by Sleek Bill, the most user-friendly GSE billing software. And now for the grand finale. The top Indian state is no other than Kerala, known as God's own country. Kerala bars it just looks out of nature. The state offers the most breathtaking landscapes with a network of 44 we'll rivers come there next and time. turquoise blue backwaters, exotic wildlife, herbs, emerald green stations, and the crystal clear so Arabian Sea along its coast. The richest Hindu temple in the world, Padmanabha Swami, known for being built out of pure gold and precious stones, is also located in Kerala. Last but not least, the state is known for its pioneer in oh. medication using Ayurveda as its treatment method. It is also home to Somathiram, the world's first Ayurvedic resort. Do you agree with our talk? <laughs> what is your favorite Indian state and why? Let us know in the comment section below. Cool. Yeah, I guarantee if you ask every stupid baby there, and just like anywhere, their top five is going to be completely different. Sure. But I just, for some reason, I was like, that place is so beautiful and it's called God's Own Country. Yeah. I was like, it got to be. Well, that's what I guessed, and that just happened to be right. In regard to wearing a a, a turban, yeah. So we're gonna have to wear something. No, on yeah. Cap when can, we go into the Golden Temple, you can wear. Uh, they give you stuff to wear on your head, but yes. it's not a turban. It is not. If but people do like tourists go and and people want to put a, a turban on your head. Yeah, you? like if if we were there and we were with some stupid babies and they said, please come do that, I I would. I would do it based on them saying, please do it. Uh -huh. Yes. I wouldn't just of my own accord, go do it. But if some stupid baby said, please, before you go in and you're do a head covering, please have the experience of knowing what it's like to have one of those on. And they were initiating it. I would, I would do it. I, don't. I think you would do. No, really? Even if some stupid babies were saying, uh, what if a sick, stupid baby came over and said, Corbin, like, thank you so much. If they said, Corbin, I, I would be honored if you would please let me come and, and take I you over. I would be much more comfortable <laughs> not wearing your sacred Turban. Well, I would if I, they were the ones initiating it and wanting me to. I would I, absolutely. I do it. just, I, I, it's, it's, it would be very difficult for me to get over that. Uh, however, I know a situation in which you'd wear one. What? You've been cast in a film, and Vishal Bhardwaj says to you, "I'm going to need you to wear this for this scene." Well, what am I wearing it for, though? This I would scene. need to know that. Yeah, I would need to know why I'm wearing it. Well, you're wearing it for the scene. It doesn't matter. They'd some, if somebody told me, you're going to be in a film, you're playing a Native American, wear this headdress. I'm not just going to wear it just because they say it. Okay, but I that is know. a scenario. There, you could envision a scenario where... I would need to you know... Would, as I, an actor... I would need to know the context in order to not cultural appropriate... And there is a, a context culture. in which it would be acceptable for you. Yeah. It depends on what they're saying, <laughs> but I, I, there's a possibility. I will you know not, what would happen? It would be at that moment in that scene you'd cry. No, no, I was just hoping for a moment. I could cry on command. I know that. <laughs> I wasn't talking about that very, very easily. But yeah, that was great. That Let us know what cool. your top five is. I guessed Kerala, and once again, we're not going there this time. We are going to two of these places. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. what's your what's your what state are you from? What's your favorite state? You know, here there are. It's also, I, I, it was funny that he only mentioned Punjab. I mean, um, Bollywood. 
but every single one of those places has, I know, their, own has their own industry. film industry. I know. The, yeah, Bunch the, the, the Tamil, the uh, uh, Malayalam, and what was the other one? Gujarat. Yeah, Gujarat has their own film industry. I, I think it's called Gujarat. It's based on, the, it's the presupposition that anything that comes out of India that's put on a movie screen is Bollywood. Yeah. It's that international presupposition. But I feel like, wasn't he Indian, the commentator? He sure sounded like he was pronouncing it that way. Yeah. But he could have just been reading a script. So, Maybe. but yeah, what's what state are you from? What's your favorite state? That's here in the U.S. Everybody has a favorite state for them. Like they're like my home state is the best state there is. So no, yeah, no, there are. No, that's my least favorite state. My home state. Oh, I know that. <laughs> I love my home state, New York. Though yeah. I think every New Yorker loves New York. It's true. 